What's going on kids? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming and welcome back to episode 17 here on Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, in the last episode we were over on Genesis 2 and we got ourselves some R Megatheriums to get ready for the Broodmother fight. If you guys haven't checked out that video in the right hand corner right about now is a link sending you on over there. So definitely check out that video then come on back to this one. But today guys, today we start on the island. Yes, we are finally back over on the island. Uh, unfortunately, not for long because loot is just so much easier and so much better to get on all the other maps and here's the biggest loot that we need we need megatherium saddles and we need the uteranus saddles so we are going to be heading over to genesis part one to get those but first things first we do need to go around and get some totems again to get ready for the broodmother fight we need Tavis talons we need some sarco skins we need some sauropod vertebrae and finally some titanoboa venom but before we leave the base here i want to show off the perfect male and the perfect Perfect female megatherium so i did mention at the end of the last episode that i was going to hunt a little bit more if i found anything better i would do a short clip now unfortunately i don't have a clip but i did find something a little bit better i did find a female that was level uh 140 knocked it on out and it had starting at 200 melee and i didn't honestly think much of it and then once it tamed on up, it ended up having 325. So that is actually the best melee. We went from 308 to 325. But here are the total stats. 6460 in health, 1960 in stam, 1203 in weight, and 325 melee. Now again, this is all before imprint and everything. To be honest, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be fine leveling them up and everything. I'll do a little bit into health, but mainly into just melee, just so we can just demolish the damn thing uh nice and quick but guys if you find yourself enjoying this one make sure to smash that like button for me on top of that guys if you're brand new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet do me a favor hit that subscribe button it really really helps me out and let's go hunting for some totems all right guys so first things first what's actually really really nice is um we're relatively close to the swamp from here so we should be able to find titanobo is no problem uh we should also be able to find ooh demorphodon 90 not bad okay um let's see i don't know i've never used the demorphodon before and i feel like a lot of people have always said or at least i feel like people have said that demorphodons can be really good so i kind of want to see let's check these guys i don't know maybe we'll find a good level or something like that uh oh okay what 145 um do i have my stuff on me i do i don't have the net gun hmm i don't know what did demorphodons eat and stuff hmm i think i have whatchamacallit back at base yeah i feel like we should tame this 145 <laughs> <laughs> let me head on back to base first. Let me get myself the, uh, I'm going to get myself, not the net gun projectiles. We're going to get the, uh, what's the word? Oh my God. Bolas. There we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to get some bolas and then we're going to tame that thing on up. Cause the 145, I feel like I just can't pass it up. Plus it's a team I've never had before. So I feel like, yeah, let, let's get our hands on this thing. All right, guys, so long story short, I've been searching in there for a while. I have no idea where that 145 went, so it is what it is. Uh, there's also a Capro in there, too, and to be honest, I don't know if a Capro can knock me off of the Shadow Main, so I don't really want to run that risk. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to head on down this way. If I do come across it, awesome, but I think at this point... It's a needle in a haystack. I mean, it is just really tough to see through there and everything. And using the spyglass has never been my forte to begin with. Um, so, hey, there's one right here. How funny. How funny would this be? That's the... Oh, my gosh. All right, let's get rid of these guys first. All right, let's see. I probably lost this thing already. I already lost this thing. All right. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Oh my god, there's just so many trees here. It's like so tough to see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that time warp went. But anyways, okay, no big deal. Um, we're going to kind of search along the, um, not the swampy area, but on the other side near the redwoods, I think. That would probably be the best spot to kind of get our titanoboa venom and stuff like that. Uh, we need a total of 15 of each item, basically. Uh, titanoboa venom will probably be the easiest out of the group, so we'll kind of start there. So let's get going. This shouldn't be too, too bad, guys.
All right, so that was meant to be a transition, but what kind of jump was that? Oh my god, that was amazing. Um, kind of wish I could always have that jump, going to be honest. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, we got a couple bugs and everything here, too, so going to be taking out a lot of things along the way here. There are a couple of dimorphs, so who knows? Maybe our 145 kind of made its way over here. 85. There's one back there. 20. No, it didn't. Alright, let's pick our fight with an alpha and see how this goes. This is just an alpha raptor, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Honestly, and our melee is getting to be really good. Um, so after the 12,000 in health, all I've been doing is just bumping melee. So right now, 453. Now we're at 460. We're looking pretty damn good, honestly. Uh, nah, nothing really to keep here. So let's chuck that just to save us in weight. Um, Alpha Raptor Claw, I'm going to throw out for right now. That's totally okay. Um, let's see. Ramshack will pick... Nah. Nah. So we are at seven Sauropod Vertebrae, four Sarco Skins, four Titanoboa Venom. So continue it on, guys. Continue it on. gonna die yep ah damn it <laughs> oh my gosh i got knocked off with a micro raptor and then all of a sudden just everything else attacked me i oh god <laughs> i gotta get better at that i kind of just froze for a second there but it's fine um the whatchamacallit is on neutral at least i think it is so it should be able to um kind of get out of that situation again it's the shadow man it should be totally fine um why is the bed what i have a bed here what the heck? Yeah? Oh my god, I did the wrong bed. <laughs> I picked the wrong bed. Oh my gosh. I was like, wait a second, what the, what? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to drown myself and, uh, yeah, get to the correct bed for once. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, slowly but surely getting back to our body here. Uh, looks like the Shadow Mane is kind of hanging out, not really doing anything. Let's see how the Owl ends up doing. 171 damage is actually not too shitty on this Owl. There we go. And we got the sauropod vertebrae after all that. Now, where is my stuff? All right, that should be my stuff right there. Oh, my God. Where did it go? Okay, it's over there. Oh, I see that micro raptor. I'm definitely getting that thing right now because that thing caused so much, so much chaos for us. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's get my stuff now. And let's kind of continue here. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. This should be my back. Yes, this is my back. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to drop all this. I don't need this stuff. I'll take everything else and we're all good to go. Uh, let me get myself situated here and then we'll uh, kind of continue our adventure. All right, so it looks like we have 15 sauropod vertebrae now. And I know you guys might be saying, well, why do you need 15? Well, you need 5 for beta and 10 for alpha. So I know probably we could just go through alpha and kind of call it a day. But I do want to try out um, having the megatheriums go up against gamma first, then beta, then alpha. So that's why we are going for 15, not for 10. So... Sauropods are down. We need uh, a couple more Sarko skins, a couple more Titanoboa Venom. Honestly, I think out of the group, the Argentavis talons will be the easiest, so that's why I'm leaving them last. And also, too, the Titanoboa, the, the Sarko, and the um, and the Sauropods are usually around the same area anyway, so I'm pretty much just circling the island. Um, most of the most of all this stuff is going to be like in the swampy areas and everything, but obviously Brontos and Diplos can be outside of that area, so... 
I'm not even sure why I'm going for that Bronto, because I literally just said we got it. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to keep looking around here. There is a little cove over here that does tend to have a lot of uh, Sarkos and a lot of uh, Titanobo in it. So let's take a quick look there, see how we're looking. And uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, slowly but surely getting this uh, task done, though. Oh god, so I'm gonna die again. <laughs> and uh, some Dimitro's uh, Dimorph. Sorry, I keep calling Dimitrodons. Dimorphs attack me there, and. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this is like the first time. Two episodes dying. Wow. Um, yeah, so basically went for a Titanoboa, ended up actually hitting a, di a Dimorph, not a Dimitrodon. And uh, yeah, of course, like six or seven of them came out of the woodwork, um, ended up attacking me and everything. So. Long story short, we got to bring out another flyer. <laughs> Which we have a whole group of old new dinos and everything here, so it's not too, too bad. I'll bring out um, Fluffs for this one instead, since probably it's the quickest to actually get there. Wow, is that a, uh, is that a jellyfish? Wow, okay, cool. <laughs> Didn't think they would uh, spawn this close or anything. But anyways, uh, let me go get my stuff. Let me get the Shadow Man and everything, and uh, we should be all good. All right, there's our Shadow Man, there's our stuff. Hopefully the D the uh, Dimorphs are actually done. Uh, hopefully I should be able to grab my stuff and kind of work good to go. Let me drop all this, take all my stuff. Uh, let's get Fluffs all uh, cryoed up here. I totally forgot we actually had the Snow Owl too, so that would have been actually really bad if we lost our stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, still continuing and everything. What did Fluffs have? Oh, okay, just died. Um, but yeah, I ended up losing a little bit of my armor in the process, too, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but anyways, let me get myself situated here. So far, 15 sauropod vertebrae, uh, 12, 12 venom, and 11 sarco skins. So again, slowly but surely getting it done. Uh, we should be done a little, little bit here, and then we'll kind of go after the Argents and whatnot. No way! <laughs> I found the 145 after all that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can actually get this thing. Um... Did it literally just... Okay, I see it there. Uh, no, I want to use this. I think I kind of have to wait for it to actually land, which is going to be a really, really hard, honestly. Because it always, like, goes into this trees, and I end up losing it. Yeah, I don't even hear it. Usually you kind of hear it flapping and stuff if you're really close to it. Oh, wow, I actually got it. Awesome. Okay, there it is. I think that's the 145. Oh god, I'm getting attacked from other Dimorphs. No, 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 we're not doing this again. We are not doing this again. Go, 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 go. Get to the Shadow Me. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can actually take out that other one quickly. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Yeah, this is probably not even a good idea, is it? Probably not. I'm just going to go back and kind of call it a day. It is what it is. Um, okay, it's getting attacked by something. Tell me that's the 145. Well, we'll see in a second here, I guess, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> my god, that whole thing was just a disaster. Oh my gosh. All right, well, there goes the 145. <laughs> Anyways, down here, I did see two Sarkos just now, so... Um, let's see if we can actually get some Sarko skins from them. Where did they go? They were literally right here. Alright, there's one. Alright, there's a Sarko skin. That'll put us up to 12. And there's at least one down here. Oh god, that's a cap rope. So, can a Capro not pounce me? Because I feel like that would have been the best situation for the Capro to pounce me. And it didn't. And I'm a little nervous right now because, oh god, there's another Capro. I don't know if we even experiment with it. I need to get to this bag, though, but the problem is the Capro... Uh, 
I think we'll be okay. Darko skin. Cool. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna cut our losses. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I'll find another place for some more Sarkos. All right, guys. So we already got the Titanimo event. We are at 16 total. Now we're in the process of getting Argent Talons. Now, what's nice about the Argent Talons is, one, they're very, very easy to get. Argents aren't too, too bad to kill, especially when you have an overpowered Shadow Man like this one. Um, but we will just have to kind of jump on down each time and pick it up in the bag. But I believe they only give one talent each. Uh, they give two. Okay. So we actually just need to kill eight, um, Argents, which actually isn't that bad. <laughs> Shouldn't be too, too bad. Right now we're hanging out over by, uh, Giga Mountain, or at least whatever this mountain is, this one right here. Um, I think what we're going to do is we'll probably take out that one Argent right in front of me, and then we'll head over to Carno Island. I think that might just be the, uh fastest option for us. Now, I could shoot it 55 times, or I could basically just kill something and kind of wait for it to... There we go. It's gonna aggro to the dead body. And then if it's close enough, it'll aggro to me. There we go. Perfect. Alright, guys. This Argent looks like our last victim. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting one hit and basically kill it, but awesome. Uh, there we go. That's actually 16 out of the 15 required. So, uh, at this point, we have 16 Argent Talons, 15 Sauropod Vertebrae, 15 Sarko Skins, and 16 Titanoboa Venom. So, in that department, we are good. I'm going to basically head on back to base here. Uh, I was going to say that Argent sounded like it was going to attack me, but um, I'm going to head on back to base here, drop this stuff off. I've also killed a couple of tech creatures, so I do have a little bit of scrap metal to basically uh, start... Um, burning and stuff so we can get some metal here uh but at this point what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head over to genesis one because there's a couple of missions in particular uh if you're looking for if you're looking for megatherium saddles and you're looking for uterana saddles there's two missions in particular that actually yield um it's almost guaranteed it's like literally like i think it's like 25 to like 50 percent chance of you getting a saddle each time, which is kind of crazy. So let me get set. Let me head on over to Genesis and I'll show you which missions those are. Hello, I'm HLNA, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me. All right, guys, welcome to Genesis 1. So we are spawning over here in the ocean biome. Um, hopefully we ended up in a good spot that actually has a, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, little, I don't, want to, I don't want to call it an obelisk, a, uh, oh god, what do they call it, the little, like, portal things. It doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh, we have so many things here right now. Okay, I'm going to wait till HLNA stops talking because this is the first time another. we've been in Genesis or 1, so she's going to have a lot to say. So let's wait a second, missions. and then uh, we'll go from there. Those missions are how the simulation tests you. How you'll prove you're the ultimate survivor. First, though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go? All right, I think she's good now. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let me take a quick look around this um, island because I'm not really too familiar with it. Um, apparently what's nice is if you have like Pegomestex and stuff, they don't, I'll say 145. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's amazing. 145 meso right away. Um, but no, it doesn't look like this island actually has a little terminal or anything for us. That's the actual name of it. Um, so let's get HLNA here. Let's do this. Let's do biome teleportation and um, kind of figure it out. I guess Teleport we'll go north ready. first and kind of figure out where's the correct uh, coordinates and everything. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. That took a heck of a lot longer than I would have liked for it to take. Uh, I would say it probably took about 20 attempts to finally get to an obelisk. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're here in the bog biome. We are actually going to start to track down one of the... You can see all the little, like, dots and everything of me attempting to try to uh, get over to one of these uh, dispatching things to get our stuff. But anyways, um, we are going to be heading to Dodo Ball. Yes, um, I see a couple bugs. Let me get rid of them first before we do anything else. Thank you. 
So yes, first things first, we're going to head over to Dodo Bowl. Um, because you're actually able to have about a 25% chance... You can't track the mission anymore? Oh, God. Alright, let me look up the uh, coordinates and everything online first, and then uh, we'll go from there, because apparently I can't track it anymore. So I don't really even know where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> Uh, give me a few minutes. Let me kind of figure out the coordinates and we'll kind of go from there, guys. All right, guys. So it took a little bit to get here, but we are at roughly 5484. Um, and this is going to be for Dodo Bowl. So if you guys don't know, basically it's just basketball. Uh, the basketball is basically going to be a Dodo. It's not really too complicated or anything like that. Um, what's nice about this is, um, yes, you get engrams for it. Plus, you get some really good stuff actually from it, which is kind of funny. Um, so all you do is essentially pick it up, kind of go over here. Kind of aim, your, aim yourself up and then press right trigger to kind of throw the dodo. And all you need to do, this is alpha, so all you need to do is get 50 points, essentially. I uh, Gotta watch out for that Titanoboa right there. Let's kind of do a throw. It's really not aggroed on me. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Anyways. Let's throw that. Boom shakalaka. Count it. Uh... All right, looks like it's finally coming this way. Uh, if you are going to do a couple of these missions, just make sure you have a dino with you um, that can at least kill a few things because in the past I've noticed that you will get a couple dinos kind of work their way over here, but also you'll get those micro swarms, which are just an absolute pain to deal with. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go through this. What's nice about doing this mission is... Yes, it's nice and easy. Yes, it's relaxing. But like I said, you get really good loot. And if you guys don't know, you get about a 25% chance of getting yourself a Uteranus saddle, yes. which is kind of crazy. Now, it won't be blueprint. It'll just be the regular uh, Uteranus saddle. But um, there is a chance of getting really good saddles. Like, I've gotten Ascendant saddles and everything like that from doing this. Um, you also have a really good chance of getting Megalish Mega Shellion saddles, too, which is kind of cool. Um, and a few various other things. I mean, honestly, like I said, it's really, really easy. You kind of just run up. You kind of just throw it, goes in, and, and you kind of just rinse and repeat yes. here. And, uh, yeah, you get stuff from it. And also, too, I mean, while I'm doing this, if I get really good um, armor and stuff, Survivor I mean, scores. of course I'm going to keep it. <laughs> right now, we really just don't have, like, good armor or anything in the series. So this is kind of uh, necessary and needs to be done. But on top of that, if you guys notice, I'm actually wearing flak right now. I actually made primitive flak before coming on over here. Because, again, if we got attacked by anything, like, half our armor would just, like, be gone. <laughs> so we definitely need to do this for better armor and everything, too. So let me get a few games going here. Let me see what kind of saddles we get. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we'll actually go to the uh, one mission that actually gets you a ton of... Uh, Megatherium saddles. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's almost like a 100% chance that you get Megatherium every time. Or at least 50%. I'd have to check the wiki. But um, I'll go over that in a little bit, guys. Let me do a few games of this, and then I'll show you the results of this. Alright, guys. Nice and easy. First game is out of the way. Overall, we ended up getting uh, Lazarus Chatter and Mushroom Brew. So not the best. Um, but l like I said, let me get through a few games of this and everything, and, uh, we'll see the good loot that we got. What's also cool is we got, uh, what is it, 900 Engram points, so, and it's easy. So all you do is just go back over, press this, and then kind of rinse and repeat and do it all over again, basically. Uh, I'm gonna chuck everything into his inventory so we're nice and good, and, then uh, I'm gonna keep going with this. Let me do a few games, and then, uh, we'll see what kind of loot we have at the end. All right, guys, so it's actually been a decent amount of games, but we, in fact, have finally gotten ourselves a Journeyman Uteran, a saddle with 67 armor. Hey, it's better than nothing, period. Anyways, let's go in here. I think we started out at about 4,000 uh, points, and we are at 14,200. So to give you an idea, uh, 4,000, we get 900 each time. So what is that? Maybe 12, 13 games, basically, to finally get our first Uterana saddle. But we got a few interesting things along the way. We got ourselves a Chitin helmet, uh, apprentice boots, apprentice fur armor, uh, Megalania saddle, a journeyman harpoon launcher, uh, glow sticks, um, Lazarus chowder, mushroom brew, uh, Pelagorna saddle, uh, scorpion saddle, journeyman wooden shield, and finally an apprentice whip and uh, shadow steak sauce. 
So we got some decent stuff. It's no big deal. Um, but we finally got our Unirana saddle. And honestly, that was the thing that I was waiting on. So what's also nice, too, is we're pretty much right here. So I can actually just load this stuff up right now. And then we can move on to our next one, which we have to head over to the uh, ocean biome. Um, because we're going to be doing the Manta Racing mission. Uh, the Manta Racing um, gives you really good odds in getting some... Um, I was going to say Megalosaurus Saddles. You can get a lot of Megalosaurus Saddles in that one too. But we are looking for um, Megatherium Saddles, which you can get a decent amount there too. So um, let me basically drop all the stuff. We don't actually need this. I'm going to cryo up the Shadow Man. I think that's just a little bit easier. Let me transfer on over to the Ocean Biome, and we'll try to track down the uh, Manta Racing, guys. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. G'day, Survivor. Alright guys, welcome back to the ocean biome here. Now that we have the shadow main, we can kind of work around this place and figure out where the heck the manta racing is. So let's actually do this. Let's see if manta racing pops up on here. Uh, wave ray 64. Yeah, it does tell you actually where it is. Awesome. Not like Dodo Ball that just lets you figure it out on your own where the heck it is. So um, I noticed though in the bog biome there were maybe two or three missions that actually did not give you uh coordinates or anything so i don't know if it's a bug i don't know if it's because like the dodo um basketball game isn't technically a mission at this point it's kind of just ooh, what level are you ooh, what did that say 140 wow right off the bat jeez okay we're gonna definitely have to make our way back over here and everything because i want to get myself a basilo at some point and honestly i really like how the x basilos look um, so we'll definitely go for that at a later point, but, um, slowly working towards the Wave Ray 64 one. Um, oh god, what, what just happened? Oh, I'm in a whatchamacallit right now. Oh, jeez. Let's see if... Wow, that was really weird. I'm gonna go back to that spot. I kinda wanna see if that happens again. Yeah, look! Okay, so it's like we're in a twister, but it, the twister's not actually showing up. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, see, like, you can't see it. Take a look at the Basilo while we're at it. Nope, level 60. But yeah, like, right here. Is it there anymore? Maybe not? No, that's really weird. Okay, it must have been like the telltale end of a uh, little whirlpool or something there. That's really weird. <laughs> Haven't been on this map in a while, though, but oh my gosh, I feel like they made so many changes to this map. Um, which is kind of funny to say, because the map's been out for a while now, but like, I noticed, okay, in the bog biome, if you guys haven't been to the bog biome in a bit, just, just go over there. Take a look, because the size of the swarms is insane. Like, they're huge now. Like, each little swarm, like, insect. Remember when Genesis first started and they were, like, really, really small? Almost like gnats? Yeah, they're bigger than the humans now. Like, each one is absolutely huge. I didn't want to put it on the episode or anything, because I want you guys to go over and be surprised like I was. It scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to throw this onto the Shadow Main here. But we have Wave Ray 64, which I think is almost like a uh, little homage, if you will, to the... Um, what was that Nintendo 64 game? It was like a, it was like a uh, ski... Like a water ski racer or jet ski for? racing game, I think? I don't know. I feel like that's what it is. I could be totally wrong. I probably am. But anyways, um, overall, really, really easy to do. We'll do Gamma first, just so you guys can see kind of how it goes, because I probably will be a little rusty with this. Um, but essentially, you just kind of ride the Manta. And what you want to do is you basically press A to jump, and you want to go through the little hoops, basically. <laughs> uh, overall, it's relatively easy. But once you get to Alpha, like if you make a mistake or two, there's a chance you're not actually going to complete the race. Um, also, too, the little yellow ones, like in every speed event and everything, uh, just gives you a little boost. So just, uh, you know. But overall, this is another one that I really, really like. Um, it's a lot of fun. 
Um, it's one of those that's kind of like relaxing. Yeah, you get certain points like that where you miss the damn thing and now you gotta go back and get it. Uh, this is why on Alpha, sometimes if that happens, you're kind of uh, screwed there. But anyways, let's kind of keep going here. Let's see how we end up doing with this. Oh god, wrong way. <laughs> and this is why we did Gamma first, because I knew I wasn't gonna remember the course or anything. Um, hey, there's a Mega Shellion, sweet. But once you get the hang of it and everything, once you've done this mission a few times, um, you end up actually just breezing right through it, honestly. It's really not that hard. Um, sometimes you do find an issue, though, where, like, if a dino can kind of get in front of you and get stuck, um, it can kind of screw up the mission for you, and you might have to, like, redo it. But um, overall, a lot of fun. Really, really. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It was so kooky that when they actually came out with this with... Um, with Genesis. Uh, they wanted to do something different, and they definitely did. And some people really, really liked this. Some people didn't. Um, I, well, actually, most people didn't, which is why they didn't do it for Genesis 2. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent to some of these, the missions and everything like that. This mission I like. Some of them are a little... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess overall I could say that I'm not a huge, huge fan of all the missions, but some of them I do like. Like, I like the Dodo Ball. I like this. I like the relaxing ones. So, like, let me just relax. Let me get some easy loot <laughs> and kind of cold a day. And overall, that's it. Right there. Done. First place. First place. Sweet. Good on ya. And let's see what we get for this. Uh, You're the best in wow, we got a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, all right. Let's kind of go over here. Uh, flat gauntlets. Okay, so that's already better than ours. So we can just... Oops. Can just get rid of that. Uh, Fiomia saddle, we can get rid of a Megalocero saddle. Okay, cool. All right, we'll throw everything on him. Like I said, just gonna do the same thing as I did before here. Um, I'm gonna do the missions basically a lot. Once I get a, uh, a few things, we'll kind of go over it. I'll probably do about 10 of these, and then uh, we'll kind of go over what you get and everything like that. So, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I have done a lot of the wave racing mission, and let me tell you guys, this is a heck of a lot better than the Dodo Ball. Don't do Dodo Ball. If you're looking to get a ton of resources, just do this mission, honestly. Um, I've actually had to drop a lot of stuff because the Shadow Main is actually completely full. Uh, 897 weight, it's at 774, so I've kept the best of the best. Um, let's go through kind of everything just to kind of give you an idea of what I've got. Uh, two Baryonyx Saddles, 52 and 48. Uh, Battle Tartar, Kaelin Sue, Calicotherium Saddle. Chitin chest plate, chitin leggings, a uh, couple of desert cloth gloves, uh, enduro stew, energy brew, an apprentice equus saddle, um, apprentice flak boots, which are obviously better than what we have, uh, apprentice flak gauntlets, 217 armor, apprentice flak gauntlets again, 162 armor, uh, apprentice flamethrower, focal chili, free a curry, apprentice fur boots, apprentice fur gauntlets, Glow sticks, um, let's see, ramshackle hazard suit gloves, um, ascendant hazard suit hat. I will say the hazard suit hat you get pretty much every time. Like, I've actually thrown out about 10 of these so far. Um, I would be, I would keep them, but you can't grind them, so there's literally no point in holding on to them. Um, so that's why I've kept just five so far. I'll probably get rid of a few along the way, but apprentice hazard suit shirt uh apprentice uh heavy miners glove uh helmet sorry glove jesus um ichthyosaurus saddle capro saddle i'm gonna chuck that i'm not using the capro saddle um carcanos saddle lazarus triotter magmasaurus saddle uh, medical bruise um megaloceros saddles megalosaurus megalosaurus Megatherium Saddle, Megatherium Saddle, Megatherium, 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 Megatherium. Um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing for my Megatherium Saddles, guys, honestly. Uh, Journeyman Metal Hatchet, Apprentice Metal Pick, Journeyman Mosa Platform Saddle, Mushroom uh, Brew, Packy Saddle, Packy Rhino Saddle, uh, Parasaur Saddle, Pteranodon Rex, Riot Chest Piece, Ramshackle Riot Gauntlets, Riot Shield, Shadow Steak Sauce, 
Thorny Dragon Saddle, Phylocolio Saddle, and finally a Uterana Saddle. Uh, interestingly enough that we actually got a Uterana Saddle too. Um, so I would say don't even do Dodo Ball. Just do this, honestly. And you get the same things, basically. And you actually get better stuff out of it too. Um, but long story short, the reason why I ended up doing so much of this hey, um, was because... I don't want to get attacked. Thank you. If you look in the corner, we're at 35,405 points. So actually what I want to try to do is um, I want to try to see Today's what survivor. we get Here's what I've got. from the uh, from this guy. This is the tier three loot crate, the best of the best. Um, I know in the past when I've done this, I have gotten horrible stuff, but who knows? Maybe we'll get something good out of this. Let's see what we get. Let's convert 35,000 points into this um, tier loot box, whatever it's going to be. Let's see what we get. That'll do you right. Thanks, okay. mate. Um, let, let's see. All right, beer. No, okay. So this is the only good thing. Let's be honest. Everything else you don't need. Um, no, not great. I mean, this is amazing. That's absolutely awesome. Hazard suit pants. I think that, that completes the set for us now. Uh, hazard, hazard, hazard. Uh, glove, shirt. We need boots. But yeah, those are really good pants. Okay, this you don't need. I, don't, I already have this. I get this um, every single time I die, I think. Beer jar. Okay, don't really need that. Primitive camera. No use. Uh, flare gun. No. no. Overall, not good. <laughs> Wasted 35,000 points on this. But honestly, the uh, the pants are going to be really, really good. Um, but guys, overall, I'm going to be doing this mission like crazy because I need a total of 19 saddles. So I have five. Going to be doing this a lot more. Obviously, with the amount of points that I get and everything, maybe we'll do some more uh, tier loot crates and everything in the coming episodes. But that, in fact, is going to wrap up this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content, but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.